Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. My name is Isolde Trachtenberg, and I'm super happy to help to help you <laughs> to welcome you to the creative kind. Yeah, this podcast is raw, real, unedited. You're getting it straight from my imagination to your eyes and ears. So whatever comes out is what comes out. Right now, I'm thinking deeply about identifying your dream. In yesterday's episode, we talked about how to start writing it down and what it means through the decades. Now, take that sheet of paper, and yes, I'm going to put something in the show notes uh, on the website, isoldatea.com, for yesterday's and today's episode so that you can get a sheet, a worksheet to figure out exactly where you are and where you want to go. You should have figured out a timeline, and if you didn't, go back to the episode yesterday and check that out so that you can start getting a hold of that timeline. Once you have a dream timeline, this has been my dream from when I was five years old, five years old, 10 years old, high school, college, 20s, 30s, 40s, whatever it is for you, wherever you are in your process or, or your age, what is the dream? What was the dream? What has the dream been? And what is it now? Because now, now that you've got that written down, I want you to go through and the blank space on the worksheet below the dream. I want you to write down how feasible it was or is. What's the possibility of making that dream happen today, right? Again, yesterday I, I mentioned I wanted to be a spy when I was a kid. I also wanted to be a Broadway star. Yeah, not so much with the Broadway star. I've had to content myself with performing a lot of uh, shows and music and seeing a lot of Broadway shows and being friends with people who, from high school, who have made amazing things happen on Broadway, but I'm never going to be a Broadway star. Even though that was something I desperately wanted when I was in high school and even college, it was not to be. And I had to let that dream go. But then I actually took aspects of it and grabbed them with me and went, okay, what can I do that takes some of what I loved about being on stage and make it part of the new dream? And that ended up being that idea of reaching out to others, communicating with them, and being creative while we do it. So the sharing and communication of art and creativity and ideas are super important to me. I don't have to be on a Broadway stage to do that. And in fact, for me, it's better if I'm sharing your ideas and my ideas rather than someone else's like Stephen Schwartz, whose work I love, Pippin and Wicked are two of my favorite shows. But that doesn't mean I want to be sharing his ideas. Perhaps I want to be sharing mine. Perhaps that's a better use of my time and energy. And specifically, teaching others, teaching you how to communicate, teaching you how to achieve your dream, helping you get where you want to go, is even more fun and even more exciting and even more fulfilling than standing on a Broadway stage would have been. So as my dreams have evolved, I have evolved with them, or maybe as I've evolved, my dreams have evolved with me. I've taken what worked for being on the stage and turned it into what works in my current dreams. So we're going to start isolating that. So on that second set of spaces, I want you to start thinking about that part of it. What is feasible? What would I have to do to make it happen? Okay, that's today's episode. Go back to that piece of paper, that worksheet, and try it, and we're going to see what we can see about how to make the dream either from yesterday or today or tomorrow not only feasible but doable. If you have a friend that needs to hear this or see this, please tag them, let them know about this as we're going through it, as I'm developing these thoughts. They're all going to be part of your creative edge, which is the book that's going to be coming out that's going to support this podcast like crazy so that you and I and all of us can live kinder, more creative, more fulfilling, more sated and replete lives. So tag a friend, let them know about this. And if you like what you're hearing, leave a review. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Sending you my love.